welcome back to DBC Creation. I still remain Krista Eva. So thank you for joining me today in this video. So first and foremost, all I have to do, all I have to teach you is how to cut your wrap dress without pattern. We are going to use freehand for this tutorial. So sorry, it has been long. I posted my video. So. First and foremost, all you have to do is to get your largest body circumference and mine is my bust which is 36 and 36 divided by 4, sorry by 4, will give me 9 inches. So what I have here I think is more than 9. What I have here is more than 9 and I have extra, I have extra like 4 and a half inches. So all I have to do is to start. So guys, this wrap dress is kind of tricky. Like it's so 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 tricky. So but listen up, we have to you know find whatever we are going to do to eliminate the you know the trick. I mean we are going to use our own trick in this method. So you know that I love marking out my starting points. Like I so much love it. This enables me to know what and what and what to do so after marking out my starting point the next thing i have to do is from that starting point i'm going to measure from my starting point from my shoulder which is my shoulder line my starting point is my shoulder line from my shoulder line to 17 inches which is my waist line so i'm going to measure 17 inches like so so i'm going to connect my line like so perfect so after connecting my line the next thing we have to do is you know to mark out our four inches how to how to mark out okay let's mark out four inches this will be where our wrap will cross over. So here will now be our wrap this time. Remember that um wrap dress there is opening in the front. Uh, there is opening at the front, so we don't have to fold our fabric like this. So here now we become our where our neckline. So guys, this is where our neckline will start. This line at this four inches gap. So I'm going to measure my normal neckline three by three at the initial start. Then we can we are going to curve it out. Always make sure that you have three. So I know why I'm doing this, so that I will not get confused and start marking out something that I'm not accurate of. You see, this marker is not crossing this four points. These four inches. So I'm going to use my rule, my curve rule, to cover out my to cover out my neckline. I'm using my chalk to make everything clear for you guys to see. So my shoulder to shoulder measurement is uh, is seven plus half inch then my armhole is eight so i'm going to remember i said it's going to be freehand like it's so going to be freehand and my shoulder slope is one inch So I'm going to mark out my shoulder slope. Guys, I don't know. This fabric is kind of doing somehow. 
So guys, from here to here now is where I will decide where I want my uh, my wrap dress to cross. So guys, I did my wrap dress from this starting point to 10, minus 10. So from this minus 10, you mark. So from this, remember that you are going to you are going to add your seam allowance. That's why I marked this half inch here. So to enable us to know or not to make mistake with what we are doing. So I'm marking out my my first wrap. So remember that here is our here is where our wrap dress the half length will, will stop. So guys, another thing that you guys need to know is this. Another trick that I normally find so easy to use is like if you want to do your wrap dress from that your half cut, you go up by three inches or four. You go up by three inches or three and a half or four. So if you do so, this is another trick. If you do so, from your from your neckline, you mark out like you mark out from there to that, from there to that, uh, from there to that um, three uh, three or three inches up that you gave. So that is another trick I find so helpful doing like or you can as well from here you go in by by half inch if you go in by half inch you can as well connect your line so that your opening will not be all that much so from here i think we are we are true with the with the first part which is our which is our upper upper part so the next thing for us to do is to cut the back then we are good to go after cutting the back then we cut the flake so we are going to cut out right away so once we are through cutting here so this is what we are working with let me cut it out for us to see So this is what so this is what we are working with so from here now we are going to continue with our measurements so my bust line is 10 so from here I will measure 10 10 is somewhere here my under bust is 14 while my waist is 17 so I'm going to match a straight line This fabric is so so soft. Eh? So once I'm through marking out, all I have to do is to measure my bust is nine. So nine is here plus one inch, and my under my waistline is thirty. So thirty divided by four will give me seven point five. So 7.5 is somewhere here. So I'm going to add one inch for that and one inch, another one inch. So which is somewhere here. I'm going to connect my 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 lines. Remember that my boss to boss line is four inches gap. So here will be my bust point here will be my bust point half inch this side half inch this side so I'm going to cut out and show you guys what we have
so this is what we have guys we have something like this as our wrap so we now have something like this as our wrap top so you see that the gap is not much like this opening is not that much so the next thing for me is to cut out the flip, the back then the flip parts and we are good to go so guys you all know that i like using one inch or half for my as my starting point so i'm going to repeat the same process that i did at the back at the front so from marking my from marking my uh, from marking my my one inch gap one inch as my starting point so the next thing that i have to do guys is to is to know my my shoulder to my bust which is 10 then my waistline my other bust 17 and my waistline my other bust 14 and my waistline 17 so i'm going to repeat the same process 17 14 10 so i'm going to connect the lines so remember that we use um two and a half because we went in by uh, by half inch then uh, because of the back i'm going to use one and a half for the back so i'm going to connect So once I'm through my shoulder to shoulder measurement is seven, seven, seven and a half. So my armhole is eight. So I'm going to connect. Then remember the difference between the front armhole and the back armhole. So I'm going to minus one inch for my shoulder slope. So once and should remember that my bust length is um, nine nine inches then plus one then my waistline is uh, 7.5 plus one inch for that then plus one inch for allowance so I'm going to okay, one inch. So I'm going to connect the lines now. So there is no much work at the at this side. So remember the difference between the front and my back is uh, two inches, and I'm going to take one inches away from my back. So going to take it away so that's and the back doesn't have to have an opening so i'm going to start cutting because we are sure it's kind of so so easy true with the back so i'm going to cut out the the wrap the flame the flare parts then we are good to go the flare and the belt and that the fabric will not be enough for what i wanted to do the kind of play that i want for it so the only option that i'm left with right now is to 
is to cut it out like what i mean by cut it out is cut um seven inches away like uh, printed the uh, pleated um peplum so it's not going to be full circle for peplum so i'm going to use 10 inches or uh, let me use 11 inches So that is it guys. So I'm going to use this for the top for the place side. So see you guys and not for, so see you guys and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not done so give me a thumbs up to this video and then like this video as well. I love you guys. Bye.